gentlemen. Hey, Eddie. Tom. Anne. What's your job? Welcome to Hack Attacks Illustrated. GPS spoofing. This episode I'll be covering GPS spoofing as shown on the underrated heist series Smith, starring Ray Liotta, Amy Smart, Zero Cool, and Foggy Nelson Esquire. In a key scene, our heisters must convince a security company that their armoured van is where it's supposed to be and that everything is running normally, when in reality it's trapped in a tunnel. Truck ID number is Kilo 72460, plate number is 5 Lincoln 1248. Alright, copy that. There's license and vehicle ID numbers. Are you getting the Tower 6? Reno Tower, this is Skyvan 879 or Lima Delta, 10 miles north of the airfield with information Foxtrot. Skyvan 879 or Lima Delta, turn right heading 270. This is a delay vector to follow the dash. They're on final approach. Here's the security company's setup. We have a security van with a GPS receiver, a GPS satellite, and the van receives a signal from the satellite. It gen re then relays its position via something like the mobile phone network back to base, where its position is then shown on a map. On the show, they want to convince the base that the van is where it's supposed to be, en route to an airport, when in reality it's stuck in a tunnel. That's retarded, okay? Because you don't know how to drive. You seeing this? Let's just forget about it. I mean, it's not even that bad. There isn't any damage. Oh, it's not that bad, really. Last known location? We're heading to the airport on South Rock. Bring it up. Must be traffic in the tunnel. Here's how GPS works. It's actually all about clocks and time. A GPS satellite is actually a very fancy talking clock. It knows where it is in space and it knows what time it is very very precisely and it continuously sends out a signal saying where it is and what time it is. So who cares what time it is? I want to know where I am you say. We have two satellites. We could have more but two will do and a van with a GPS receiver. The satellites know where they are, but the van doesn't. Satellite S1 sends out its position at a precise time. Here it's 11.02 and 52.002 seconds. But the GPS receiver in the van gets a signal at 11.02.52.008 seconds. That's a difference of 0 0.006 seconds. That difference isn't just an error in the GPS receiver. The signal actually takes 0 0.006 seconds to come from satellite S1 at the speed of light or GPS signals or any other radio wave, which is 299,792 kilometers per second. That means in 0 0.006 seconds, that signal traveled 2,000 kilometers. We don't know where the van is, but we know it's 2,000 kilometers from satellite S1, and we know where satellite S1 is. 
We do the same thing for satellite S2. This one, the clock was different by 0 0.003 seconds. And light or GPS signals or anything else radio wave based for that matter travels 1000 kilometers every 0 0.003 seconds. So we know how far the van is from this one as well. With those two distances, we can draw arcs and triangulate the position of the van. And now we know where the van is. Just to be clear here, acronym-based cop shows, at its core, GPS uploads nothing to the satellites. It's completely passive. Your GPS system might download updates, or the security van might contact base, but that bit isn't anything to do with the satellites. You need a phone network or a radio system or something like that. But GPS is out of the loop at that point. Here are the problems. One, there's no authentication. Nothing to stop anyone pretending to be a GPS satellite. Two, weak signal. If your transmitter isn't a thousand of miles away in space, powered by solar panels, it's actually fairly easy to produce a stronger signal than the satellites. That's exactly what the University of Texas Austin did when they tricked the yacht into going off course in an experiment. And that's what they do here. Down in the tunnel, the already weak signal from the satellite can't make it through the concrete and earth above the van, which means an attacker would find it very easy to transmit a signal stronger than the satellites. So Foggy in the van here can send a spoof signal to the van, emulating our two satellites. The van's GPS unit then believes that signal and thinks it's on its way to the airport. That GPS unit is then wired into a transmitter which transmits back to base. Even though it can transmit back to base, it's sending back a false GPS location. And whoever back at base is monitoring the van thinks it's where it's supposed to be. 17 minutes and counting. Let's move. Here they are. The tunnel's probably down to one lane again. Check it out. So when our attackers roll up to the airport, everything looks normal. The GPS says that a legitimate van is at the airport, according to the GPS and the map. And when they see a van pull up at the same time, they put two and two together and assume that our attackers are in a, in a legitimate van. 
and not there to totally rob the airport. Yeah, one's gonna be coming at you. We got two in the office. Boys are missing the game. 